Hello everybody, Ultra Mario here, and welcome back to some more Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. On the last part, I completed half the prologue, and we talked to Professor Frankly, and we're gonna go to the freaking whatchamacallit, the sewers, so... I'll talk to these guys again, because I don't think it remembers me talking to them. It's fine. It's not like the game will reward me. Also, I have to talk to Frankly again, because I forgot to save. Before doing his, like, you know... Watch him, I call it. So, I just gotta do all this dialogue stuff real quick again, but... Okay, but I love his reaction. He's so funny. Plus, I get to enjoy his theme again. Frankly, is a go in this game. Bruh. I love how he would crash this into the garbage can. to find this treasure. For those wondering why I'm not reading, if they missed last time, I already went through all this dialogue, so it's just a repeat. Just forgot to say, my be. This way, I didn't think he would immediately force me into a tutorial, so that's why last time ended so abruptly. I kind of forgot about that. Of course, even though I know how to play this game, I'll do the tutorial anyway because I like me some unique dialogue. You know, I'm gonna kick you in Bella's ass. Also, this song is nice, so. First rule pack is a jump action command. That okay with the both of you? Here's a jump command. Then choose which enemy you'll attack. When you choose command, the action. Okay, blah blah blah. Just tutorial stuff. No, nothing funny. Give it a go. Well, well, you got a nice rating. The action command was a success. played it all since the first stream. I'm sorry, man. I wanted to, but this haven't had the time. But yeah, no spoilers here. It'll take me a while at the rate I play games, so... Okay, let's go. Nah, nah. Yeah, it's good. I just wish I played more. Also, I still have Azumanga Puzzle Bubble on the, you know board of stuff I'm doing, but that's just on the back corner right now until I beat Mario Kart Tour, uh, 
whatever part. Oops, I forgot the super guard. I don't really use it much, but I mean, it might be good to use sometimes. It's hard. Bro, I'm pressing it like right on the timing. Do I have to like do it a second four? Bruh, you should have did the tutorial, dude. Yeah, he tells you about it. Basically, it negates all damage and it also attacks the opponent. But the timing is hard. You have to press B instead of A. And the good thing is, you can choose between using regular guard and super guard. I think in the original game, it was mapped to the same button, so you can't really, like, pick which one. I, I think, anyway, that's how it was. Killer. Alright. Alright, I'm good. Wow, that should have super guarded. in. Uh, yeah. Well, no, to be fair, they did add new mechanics, so... Like, the audience stuff is awesome. Hop onto the bottom, press A, the pipe, and press A to go into it. Let's use the pipe in front of the professor's house to get down underneath the town. Bro, she has to tell me that. Oh uh, yeah, the stylish moves are awesome. I can't figure all of them out yet, but they're fun. Bro, I freaking love this song. That thousand new door must be nearby. Let's keep moving forward. We're down below Roqueport. The current town is built on top of this ancient one. Pretty surprising to find all this down here, right? It kind of blows my mind. The ruins here are all crumbly and gnarly now. What is once a great town, really? Shoot, what time is it? Should I ignore Moodai? Probably. Also, I don't know if I plan to talk to her a lot, but maybe later. I don't think we can get through this debris. Let's go back the way we came. I might just use a guide to find the star pieces, but... That's the fortune teller, more lovely. She's kind of mysterious, as you'd expect. She defines the locations of things or where we should go. People's, people say she's always right. Okay, so she's basically fortune teller Baba. And people say all kinds of secrets are hiding under her wheel. So I guess the wheel is working as intended. We're down below Rogueport. Folks say these are the ruins of a thousand year old town. Even though these buildings are crumbling, some seem even safer than those above us. People living here mostly can't show their faces above for one reason or another. Some have actually started successful businesses here, though. What a... What a something bunch. Harsh bunch? I don't know. Uh -huh. Welcome, Mario. You wish for me to use my divine skills to find what you seek? Speak to me from across the table. Honestly, I still like 64 more lovely and more Lara the best, but I don't know. And Morley, I mean. Ah, welcome, Mario. I am Merlovely, the lovely fortune teller. Seeing with my amazing abilities that which you seek is my humble job. The light of the shining stars will light that which I wish to see. Aha! So, shall I see something for you? Wow, imagine having to use the two coin one. Couldn't be me. I mean, it's good that it's an option, though, for, you know, those that don't know. In case Goombella wasn't enough, you know? Wait, what'd she say? Damn it. No. Aha! Uh -huh. Is that so? Well, if there's anything you want to add, hi, just ask. Alright, there's nothing we can do here right now, but we can come back here later. For now, let's fight the Goombas who uh, do not hit on Goombella anymore. Censored. Hashtag censored. Cancelled. No. I'm just being cringe. 
I don't really care that they don't hate on Goombella. I, it's just kind of funny. Like, they're, like, like they could bring back, you know, Beldum's transphobia, at least in one line. But they, they, they can't bring back the other funny. Hey, hey, man, what's up? You think it's cool to just waltz your way to our underground? I mean, to be fair, it's part of the character arc, so, like, you kind of need that. But, typical. You surface level snobs are so stuck up. Oh, I get to see the sun. I like to breathe clean air. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. Come on over here, scruffy mustache man. We're gonna teach you some proper manners. Leave him alone. Can't two academics and a world famous hero wander the sewers of a poor town in peace? This is your usual graining of visitors, and you must have learned it. Learned it down here, because it stinks. Ouch. That was cold. Bruh. Touch grass. What? You two look good look too good for a fight? You ain't looking to tussle, then stay out of the sewer. Nobody doesn't try to fight with us. Nobody. Let's get them. Yeah, the battle theme. Jamming. A Goomba, a spiky Goomba, and a pair of Goomba. My, the whole Goomba family tree. The only one I should warn you about is that fellow in the middle, the spiky Goomba. Is that a spike on his head? Well, jump on that and you're the one who'll take damage. Paragoom is airborne, so your hammer won't reach. You'll have to jump for him. You get what I'm saying? Study your opponent before you choose an attack method. Be ready for the tricky action command while attacking and blocking. Now go get him. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that's right. Forgot to tell you something vital. You can press Y to change it. Oh, yeah, blah, 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 blah. I don't care. I'll just be over here watching two of you do your thing from a safe distance. But good luck. You know, if you think about it, he's kind of like... Doom Goompa from the first game, when he was just chilling on the side. Following you. My first instinct is to have Goombella tattle everything immediately. That's a Goomba. Um, yeah. I'm one of those, in case you hadn't noticed. Ahem. It says here, Goombings are underlings of underlings. No standout creatures of note. That's totally rude! Oh, I kind of get the underlay thing now. Uh, there's my freaking reminder thing. I'll just do it after this. It's fine. She needs the freaking tattle as like a codec thing. That's a pair of Goomba. Basically a Goomba with wings. I'm jealous. You can't hammer it while it's flying, but rough it up with a jump and it'll totally pull it. Um, actually you can, but only when you do the first strike. It loses its wings if it does. If it loses its wings, does it become a regular Goomba for the rest of its life? No one ever talks about this. Yeah, right? Also, they just don't let you, straight up don't let you hammer anymore on enemies you can't hammer, so. Alright, I know it's already so soon, but I will be RB, but still be here. Hold on. Alright, everyone, I have returned. Alright! Yeah, I had to do a mood eye break, because, you know, the magic perch started. And there's so many characters I have to worry about right now. So, I'm constantly on edge right now. I'm, I gotta be on guard, man. Otherwise, I will lose everything. I will lose all the competitions. And I'm very competitive, so I, I gotta I gotta be on it. On top of it, when I can. Part favorite Paper Mario partner of, of all of them? I don't know, honestly. That's a tough, tough call. I really do. I really like, um, Bo... Um, Yoshi Kid, Gumbella, 
and um, who else? I, I Cooper's pretty cool too. I I like I favor like half of them honestly because they're all so good. Especially in this game, like every character has a good personality. Ha! Later on, losers. That felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where they came from. And they all hell happened in for us. We kind of did like a dark brown voice for him. When they attack, try to hammer them or chop on the wall of the field. <laughs> now I just changed his voice from whatever I did last time to dark brown. Attack successfully and you can perform a first strike when you enter battle. Red Scott! So if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to chop him as you go to battle. I don't know, it's probably cringy, but... Oh, we gotta save that. That thousand you dart must be Dubai. Let's keep on moving. Okay. I love this freaking song, by the way. Have you tried the Nostalgia Badge yet, by the way? I don't know if you knew about it, but it plays just the original music, which, I don't know. The balls are really good. Honestly, I'm liking the remastered soundtrack a lot so far. Woohoo! I love his thumbs up in these games. It's so satisfying. Yeah, she kids go in. Oh yeah, Paracarry was always one of my favorites too. I just like how, you know, he's just a simple guy. He wants to deliver letters and stuff. Gamela's a smart if sassy Goomba girl. She hopes to be an archaeologist one day. Of course, me being me, I'm gonna fight everyone. We're down below Rogueport. I think this is just your basic Garden Friday corridor. This must have been a nice walk when the whole town was above ground. Um, see, I can hammer them. I just had the first strike. Eh, yeah. Wow, okay, okay. I, I get what being your least favorite, like, as a character, but what is super useful in, in 64? Like, free freaking invisible block locator? She works great in Dry Dry Desert, especially. There's so many invisible blocks there. I remember before getting what? Just blindly jumping in every area. Bro, you never used what? I mean, against certain enemies, she can be pretty helpful. Like, ones that have, like, strong defenses that you can't really break with any other character. But, yeah, I didn't really use her that much in battle, but on the field? In the field, I would use her all the time, because I like finding treasure. That's just in my character. I'm like Wario. Or Captain Toad. Kicking ass right now. Woohoo! Man, this game's even funner than it was when I came out with a kid. Fire flowers are fun. Well, we'll get that later. By the way, you have been finding the secrets, haven't you? You can use this with Flurry. Oh yeah, the Yoshi's Island sack is sick. Oh yeah, Bo is so useful. Her slap attack can just like spam the heck out of all the enemies. She was like one of my most used partners. Oh, wonder what he's up to. Guess we'll find out later. Who knew the area under Rogueport extended so far? This place is a total maze. You only feel the grandness of that ancient civilization when you're down here. This is a big yellow block. It looks too sturdy to break with your current hammer. But if you find more powerful hammer, then look out, block. I wonder how the sound effects badges sound in this game. Damn.
Oh yeah, Lackaluster Lack is awesome. I just noticed his name sounds like Lackluster. Contrary to his name, he's not bad actually. He was basically my Yoshi equivalent in, you know, this game, because, like, I just use him to go across the field fast, like Yoshi. I am sad they didn't bring back the Spin Dash from 64, though, even in this remake. Yeah, Goombella is a lot funner as a character, but I think Goombario is underrated, because he's just, you know, he's a fun kid, he loves Mario, and, you know, he, he likes to go on adventures, you know, he's just a wholesome kid. Yeah, true. That's a Spinia. A totally weird creature made of thin, papery boards. Suddenly looks unique. Nobody knows much about these creatures, actually. The attacks are super swift, but it should be pretty easy. Just give it a yeah. Honestly, this remix, this remix might be better. Like, this song was already lively and, like, energetic as heck, but, like... Nah, man. They might have topped the original. In every way. Yeah. yeah. I can't wait to hear the remixes. Of course, I'm gonna use the Retro Badge a lot, too, but I'm gonna give both, you know, the original music and the new music an equal chance. I'm just wondering when you can buy the retro badge. It's like, I want it. How do you do a stylish with Gumbella? I forgot. Yeah. Trying to do a silence. Dang, really? The second area? How am I supposed to enjoy the OG soundtrack as soon as possible? You have to w wait till like third area in the game to get it. Oops. Yeah. I, I know I couldn't buy it during the epilogue, but I'm gonna try again at uh, chapter one. Maybe it'll be open by then. Probably not, but... Nah, I'm just gonna ignore that. It's like one coin. Well, they're completely undervaluing the OG. No. That's being dumb. No, I know I wasn't supposed to get that black key yet, but I don't care. Yeah. There's a black chest in the middle of the room. You know, in case you missed it. And, um, yeah, there's just not much else, really. This is a black chest. Wonder what's inside it. This song is completely new, by the way. Hey, you! Can you hear me? You can! That must mean you're the hero of legend! Huh? Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice! Yeah! Everyone can hear! Everyone else? Nothing. See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this chest. It was a real drag. By the way, I'm pretty sure the lore of these guys is that they're supposed to be the four heroes of legend, from, like, way back in the Thousand Year Doors backstory lore. Because, you know, there's, like, one NPC in the game that, like, tells you all the stories if you pay him coins or something, I think. I've been ever here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So, yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? Er, uh, Mario, a word with you. I'm not exactly confident that we can trust this chest. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal scars. Well, try. 
I just said it out loud. What's wrong with me? Oh, yeah? Searching for the crystal stars, are you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you hope to get these bad boys. So, first, you should look for the key to the chest, then use it to let me out. Definitely. Not sure how this chest guy would know anything about crystal stars. What do you think we ought to do? Well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. This is what the key looks like, by the way. Come on, being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, oh great legendary hero. Whoa, what? You already found the key? Oh man, I owe you big. Yes! Thank. Ha! Thank nothing! Wee! Fools! It's peak. I freaking love this guy. Oh boy, did you fall for it? I burned you. What, you think I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of this suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Wuggly wuggly woo! You've been cursed. Really getting into the character right now. Wee! <laughs> Enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserved. You want to hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press Y and search Mario, be like, what the hell is Y? You'll turn into a paper airplane. How is it a curse if Mario is this can control when he can turn into a paper airplane? Like, is that? That's not a curse. This guy's stupid. I know that's the joke, but still. Wee! You trembling yet? Up for the rest of your days under my terrible curse. <laughs> oh, I can't help but chortle. You're doomed. This curse is pretty rough, I guess, so I suppose I owe it to you to explain it. Ready? You stand on an airplane panel like this one, the floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay, you're on the panel. Now try pressing Y, and then bam, you're a paper airplane. You don't control your tiny paper plane self by tilting forward and back. A plane will rise if you tilt L in the direction behind you. However, if you keep tilting L too much, you will slow down and start to fall back to the ground. Okay, whatever. Try it now and suffer total aerodynamic humiliation. <laughs> when you've had enough airplane shame, press B to the plane and get back to normal. So, be honest. Do you fully understand the peril this curse has bestowed upon you? Yes, I get it. Farewell, you foolish fool. <laughs> so, uh, wow. Just wow. What was that guy's beef? That was a black chest in the middle of the room, you know, in case you missed it. Uh. Okay. Didn't you just learn how to be an airplane? You might be able to use that. By the way, I'm not doing it because I need help. I just like hearing what Gumbella has to say. Oh, Mario, Kubella, look at that! Is that the thousand you adore? I can't believe it's real! So the legend are all true! Come, let's move closer! This is the site of the famed thousand you adore. The air revels with power. I read this is where the palace at the center of the ancient town was. Just a little fun fact there. That's the thousand you adore. There's probably a place where you're supposed to hold the map up. Whenever I see something covering anything, I'm just looking for star pieces. No. Nope. 
Nothing? Maybe there's one up there? By the way, fun fact, the effect of the Thousand Year Door pedestal is reused in uh, Super Paper Mario in Count Black's cape, like, effect thing. Professor, what's going on? This part's OP. Coops a lot. He's cool. He's a go. All the Cooper pa partners are awesome. I don't know. <laughs> Location of Crystal Star is recorded on your magical map. And Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Tree. <laughs> Professor, it's a map. And what was with all those strange lights? Hmm, this looks like information like to the location of a crystal star. And that shining light, it looks like as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Oh, yeah. All right. Here we go. Um, aha, I see. You understand, Professor? Of course I do, and I shall explain. First thing to know is, the map is truly astounding. Somehow, this map contains radar-like functions. It's showing us the location of a crystal star. Looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Roadhorn. Clearly the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine, so we'll go there. Does anyone know how to get there, to get to there, or what? Fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. You can just find that, you'd get there instantly. Pipe travel's efficient. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious, how did you get that map anyway? From Princess Peach? Really? Her Highness said this to you, Mario? This Princess Peach? This wouldn't be her, would it? Oh, yeah. So it is her! A princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. Bro, I love all the new cutscene music they had here. Doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. Okay, but my question is, how would she get to Petal Meadows if she didn't have the curse to fly the airplane across the one platform? That doesn't even make any sense. Oh, hey, Verb. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Hmm, but I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. All right, it's settled. Off the Petal Meadows, you Meadows, you two go. Princess Peach indeed went there? Your first priority must be to catch up to her. Collecting the Crystal Shards is a means to an end. And that end is Princess Peach. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask around about Princess Peach and that suspicious game. Besides, I doubt a shovel old Goomba like me could handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Give it your best. 
Now then, allow me to give you both a proper farewell. This is what. Okay, okay, okay. Dang it. Ah, Mario, there's something I forgot to mention. First, about that light we saw shining on you. By my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. Special move? Yes, it is. Well, something like this better explain my example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? Yeah. I like how each of the freaking things is like a little mini game. One power dot. The star power gauge is now empty. Even if the gauge empties out, so you can still charge it up again. That's why the audience watching your battles is so very important. Well, I never noticed they have a voice here. Mario's gotta be the hype. Dang, I can't tattle with Professor Frankly because the game won't let me. I wonder if he has an unused tattle. Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. Yo. I like how the description is just powerfully smash a foe. It's called a badge. It is incredibly helpful. Okay. I thought they meant press the D-pad. I was like, huh? Hoping you find that pipe to Petal Meadow. That's Professor Frankly, head of the archaeology department at U Yugu. He's researching legendary treasure. I totally respect him. You know the famous Professor Colorado? He was a student of Professor Frankly. Yo, lore, I didn't even know this. Bro. Bro, this is like some Dragon Ball. Master Roshi, uh, uh Gram Grandpa Gohan was a, a student of uh, Master Roshi moment. We want to get Chapetta Meadows. Look for the pipe beneath the town. Dang, I want to read his book. Hey, you big old rube. It ain't smart talking to people you don't know. 
Oh, he's just saying the same thing. He sounds like an Undertale character. I'll just ignore that guy right now. Pad shop open? Probably not. Why can't I skip his dialogue? I already read all that. person is. Yeah, I was gonna say, if they don't let me buy it as soon as possible, I'd be pretty mad. Okay. Well, it was worth a try, and it's a good thing I checked. That's the badge manager at the lovely house of badges. For a manager, she sure is gone, gone from the store lot. Where do you think she goes? I mean, she's basically rouge, kind of. This shop is small, small, but it's totally adorable. She really knows how to decorate it. That's the badge clerk that that works part time here at the lovely house of badges. Sounds like he really wants to open his own shop someday. Yeah, I think he's using this job to learn the business. Talk about motivation. Welcome, welcome. Please feel free to look around. I'm uh, not really sure what voice to do because the you know it's it's high pitched uh, voice box. So I don't know, Minnie Mouse. <laughs> A big welcome to you! Yes, welcome to the lovely House of Badges. You are so welcome here. Now, I know a new customer when I see one, so let me give my usual rundown on how our shop works. We have a special curated selection of recommend badges up here on the counter. If you're looking for something more than niche, check in the cardboard box on the right of the shop. That covers the basic for using our shop. Do you want me to explain it from the top all again? No. Lovely, then I hope you enjoy your time shopping here. No. Honestly, I kind of want to get one of these. Okay, see so ya. Yeah, what do you think? Power jump? Or a super appeal. I'm thinking super appeal since I already have power stop, you know, power whatever bonk. Power smash. So I feel like this might help me early on. Don't worry. I'll get plenty of points later anyway. It doesn't matter. I'll get the other I'll I wanna get all the badges, but you know, I'll get that one first. Oh yeah, also, forgot, I gotta bunk people. Yeah, I'm all about damage and also, like, you know, I am a big fan of stuff, like, slowly, you know, building up while I just do nothing. Like, in Persona, like, in Persona, I have, like, you know, stat rings that just, like, heal my HP, like, every battle or my SP, so pretty helpful. Also, you would like Persona, I feel. But, it is a big game, so. Yeah! Oh, it resets the song, though. It doesn't keep it on the same part of the song. That's That makes sense, though, since the songs are all extended. Oh, yeah, wait. This guy is new, so I shouldn't have Hey there, kid. You got a bit to learn what it means to fight, like, to fight with your whole heart. By the way, this guy's concept designs were way better, I'm just saying. I can see you're brimming with potential, kid. But there's a heap of stuff you don't know about a fight. Stylish moves, isn't it big? There's a whole list. Feel free to hit me up if you got a question, friendo. Who am I? There's some who call me the Battle Master, and I don't stop them. But I could, with fighting. 
Anywho, I got a great life traveling, training, uh, some third thing. You see me around, give me a holler. That's the battle master. He's a master of battling. Let me know if I'm going too fast here. <laughs> He'll teach you the secret to battling and help you practice tricky action commands. So if you're having trouble mastering any aspects of battle, just ask the battle master. I mean, obviously. Oh my god. Um, no, not reading all this right now. As much as I'd love to read everything on my stream. The song goes hard though. It'd be cool if he was like an actually a, a boss fight you could do, but. Goom board. I love that. That's a goom board. It's a goomba drawn on a board. I think the master made this. He's surprisingly challenging. It's unclear what his max HP is. No attack or defense either. This thing is sturdy though. It won't break no matter how hard you hit it. So don't hold anything back. How do I do a stylish move with Lumbella? Can I do that? I don't know. How do I do it? I'm pressing like every button. I'm trying to press A right after jumping. I don't know. I'm trying to practice. Yeah, I'm like mashing the button. It doesn't work. For Mario, I kind of just smash it, like, after the second jump. Nah, I don't know. Okay, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'll figure it out eventually. Two. I know how to do the first one. You press A after you hit the hammer. I'm guessing you just press A again. Alright. Enough for this guy. Okay, A again. Gotcha. I'll keep that in mind. Also, you're wondering how I do my, uh, you know, level up patterns. I just level up everything evenly because I'm boring. So I tried to do in Mario RPG 2, but it's just too hard to remember all the partners' individual things, so. Because everyone level ups individually in that game. Yeah, 
I'm Casey. Hitty. I don't know what that's from, but it sounds like a funny thing. Oh, okay. I was wondering what they would do with the new tracks in the Switch version, but I'm glad they still play them. Looks like some sea some seawater's found its way in here, huh? Yeah, that's a health hazard. But some weird sea things live in here too, so try not to fall in the water, okay? Ew, did that thing move? You can test it by jumping on it, but it's kind of slimy and gross, so maybe just use your hammer? There should be a pipe somewhere underground that can take us to Petal Meadow. No, I'm gonna jump on it. Bloop! Bloop! Ouch, that hurt! I love how they use Gooper Blooper's voice clips. Blue, blue, blue. You just up and whack someone's tootsies like that. Blue, blue, blue. Somebody with some serious moxie, that's who. Blue, 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 blue. Would you look at that? It's some saucy mustache guy. Blue, 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 blue. Oh. Bone. Um, no. He's in a world of hurt. Blue, 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 blue. I'll give him a taste of the old technical trample. Hey Mario, you remember what Professor Finkley told us, right? You can press Y to change your attack order. Your HP drops, you can, okay. Well. That's a blooper, and a really super humongous one, too. Ew, it's all slimy. I just totally can't stand slimy, nasty, icky things. Gross. G-R-O-S-S. -S. Gross. Attacks with tentacles and ink. Once you damage both the tentacles, it'll pull down. And then it's attack time. By the way, the tentacles each have 3 HP. You will have to make seafood out of that slimy, nasty blooper. Tastes good, aren't ya? Admit it! Blue oop oop blue boo. Yeah, you wanna snack on these tentacles, don't ya? You're darn bloopin'. Ew, no, I'd rather bloop. You're darn bloopin'. Bloop. Ha! Ah, oh, I got blue. Let Grubella finish it. Yo, they added like an epic, like final hit thing. Yo. 
Dang, so close to level up. Blue, blue, blue. I kind of feel bad for him. He was just kind of chilling there. There should be a pipe somewhere. Okay, okay. I remember Goombella used to fall in the water all the time in the original. Also, the freaking uh, super appeal is working really well so far, I think. Alright. Chapter 1! Castle and Dragon. Star Hives. Woohoo! Here we go, Mario. The start of our adventure. The start of our adventure. This is completely awesome. Alright, let's go find that crystal star. Ah, oh, the Petal Meadows. A plateau surrounded by hills far to the east of Rogue Park. Mild and pleasant here all year round. I love it. Doesn't it feel nice? Oh, hey, Mario. You hit a tree. Sometimes something good falls out. I know that come that came out of left field, but I meant it. And I mean it. If you see a suspicious tree, smack. All of them are suspicious, dude. Anyway, I'm gonna stop here, but I continue after my lunch break. So I'll see you all soon. Anyway, have yourselves a fantastic day and take care. <laughs>